Hey guys, so I just got done with my bike ride, that's why I'm in my workout gear. And it is definitely time for me to wash my hair. I'm also on day three without washing it, so it is really gross. Actually, let me just show you guys. It's really greasy now and it's starting to get itchy. And here in New Jersey, it's been going from cold to warm and then back to like freezing again. So my scalp is really getting dry. I wanted to share with you before I wash my hair, a scalp mask, a scalp mask that I do at least once a week and it really helps with the dandruff. The four ingredients you will need to create this scalp mask are coconut oil, avocado oil, lavender essential oil, and peppermint essential oil. Both lavender and peppermint oil are known to increase circulation, which also in turn helps promote hair growth. Both coconut and avocado oil are very great moisturizers which help fight off dandruff. Start by applying half a teaspoon of coconut oil. Coconut oil is a solid at room temperature, so you will need to microwave it for at least 10 to 15 seconds in order to melt it. Next, add a teaspoon of avocado oil to the mix. Avocado oil is very high in vitamin E, which is really great at treating dry skin. When using essential oils, adding just a few drops goes a very long way, which means that these bottles last you a very long time. Since these essential oils are very highly concentrated, you will only need to add two to three drops. Lavender and peppermint essential oils are high in antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties, which make them great for cleaning and adding them to this hair mask. Mix all of your ingredients together and you are ready to add it to your scalp. It smells really good. All right, so now it's time to put it in your hair. You can either warm it up before you apply it to open up your pores a bit, or you can do what I'm gonna show you. So I'm just gonna dip my hand in, which is kind of hard because my nails are so long, but you just like dip it in and then I like to rub it into my fingers and then just starting at the top of your scalp, just begin rubbing in circular motions as you're applying the oil. And it's just really good for circulation in the scalp, you know, to reduce the dryness of it. It's also really good for hair growth, so you definitely wanna increase the circulation. It's kind of like you're giving yourself a little mini massage, too. Too bad someone else isn't doing it, but you know, treat yourself. So basically, I just start at the front and I slowly start to massage back, and I just keep on applying. Your hair's gonna be like real oily too, but it's all good. I really need the hydration in my hair right now um, because this weather going back and forth is just like really messing up my skin and my hair, my scalp, obviously it's skin also, but um, yeah, it's definitely just like not good. I think my skin is just so confused as to what's going on and it's just not getting used to it. It's like we're getting warm and then all of a sudden it drops 20 degrees, so it's just drying out immediately and so I'm definitely in the need of this hair mask and I'm done. <laughs> now what I do, since I didn't heat it up before I applied it, I just kind of put my hair up so that none of it really drips onto my, like down my back onto my shirt, even though this is my workout shirt I just worked out in. It doesn't really matter, but I just put on this shower cap. Arrgh! That was so graceful. Anyway, I put this on and then what I do is I rub that hair mask into my hands because it's really nice and it like helps hydrate it. It's also really good for your cuticles, so I just grab my hair dryer and then I put it on low. Put it on warm, not hot, and then just turn it on to low and then I just heat up my head. So I do it on warm for 10 seconds and then I turn it on to hot for another 10 seconds. And I leave it on low. What the heat does is it helps open up the pores so that the oils really get in there and actually do their job. So that's why you want it to be a little bit warm. But now it's been over 30 minutes and it's time to wash this scalp mask off of my head. So I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so I just took a shower and um, I washed all of the oils out. I applied 
these two. I use the L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure Sulfate Free um, Shampoo and Conditioner. I use the Smooth um, line because I tend to have frizzy hair, so I just like the Smooth one. And I don't really have a problem with volume because I have thick hair, so I don't want to use that one. Um, but what I like about these is that they're sulfate free, so it's better for your hair, obviously. You don't want sulfates in there. And um, it's also an anti-fade system, so it's okay for color-treated hair, which I have right now. I currently have ombre. I don't know if you can tell because my hair is still wet. But see how it's already starting to dry and it just like is frizzy? So anyway, um, I like to use this, and what I do is I apply the shampoo twice. What I also like about this line is that it really lathers really easily. Like a lot of other sulfate free uh, shampoos that I've tried, they kind of just sit wherever you apply it and it doesn't really lather and get kind of like, you know, that soapy feeling. I really like this one because of that. I just apply this twice to really get rid of all of the oil that I just put onto my scalp. And then I just apply the conditioner just to the ends to condition the, the ends. So it helps with split ends. Um, also with the hair mask, you could have, if you had any left over, you could just rub that into the ends and it really helps seal in the split ends, which is also helpful. But I do always like to finish off with a conditioner just on the ends. You don't want to reapply that on the top of your head and then it gets all oily and gross. So really that's all that there is to this video and thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked it. And if you have any ideas, just let me know in the comments and thanks again. Bye! Bye.